Hey there guys, what's going on? Nox Skinny here. Hope you're very well and welcome to Talking Tapped Out, the series where we talk everything Tapped Out related, see what's been going on in my town and um, talk about, yeah, everything Simpsons related really. So uh, we're just jumping into our town right here while it loads. Sorry, a little bit delayed here. There we are. And Sideshow Bob has been spotted in the area. Press. So uh, if we come across him, we will be sure to take him out. But first of all, guys, let's see what is new in the town. First of all, we're going to head across to the rich kids area and at the front of Wolves Castle's manager now we have now got the money pool here guys right next to the duff car this was reward number five on the stone cutters update as you can see here and um, I put it in front of Wolf Castle's mansion because um, although it comes with Monty Burns as a stone cut skin as well with um, Monty's already got kind of like a fountain at the front of his so I thought I'd put it in front of Wolf Castle's um, as that kind of had the most space um, yeah so um, Head on over to the west side of the city today, guys, and or the town, sorry. And um, you'll notice that we've got some blue houses here, guys, that are in the middle of being built. So can you remember what used to be there? Hmm, have a think. What used to be there? Keep it in your mind. Have a think about it. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, we continue to develop our boardwalk, guys. You'll see here we've got, we've got like the, the stub bit now developed, much like the one in the middle. Um, so hopefully in the next video I'll have even more sections of boardwalk that I've put down and we can put some um, benches and stalls like we have over there and uh, spread the shops out a little bit. So have you thought about what it was? Can you remember? Let me tell you. Let's head on over to the east side of the town and uh, welcome to the, the media area. And uh, did you guess it right? It was of course Channel 6 Studios and this is now the media area of my town. Um, the brand new update dropped at the end of last week which was the Itchy and Scratchy Studio with Roger Myers Jr. as a playable character. So with that I thought, you know, let's just develop a little media area. If we're kind of getting, you know, film sort of stuff again, we can chuck it over here as well. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like where it is and we've kind of got like this little area here where the guys can come and get some lunch of course. We've got car parking so they can park the cars. And um, that, of course, is the brand new building that came from that, which was the Itchy and Scratchy Studio. Like I say, Roger Myers came as a playable character and has been doing a quest through that as well. Um, as well as the building and the playable character, there was also some premium items for you premium players out there. Let's zoom across here. Uh, where are we? Premium. All the way to the end. We've got a rocket car, which also has Chester A. Arthur as a playable character. He was the guy that actually originally created Itchy and Scratchy and um, that will give you 2% bonus money and XP on all jobs as well as the rocket car there and um, we've got the Itchy and Scratchy billboard for 40 donuts which gives you... no 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 I do not want to spend donuts. <laughs> <laughs> that gives you 1% um, bonus money and XP on all jobs so there we go very nice indeed if you're a premium player. Um, so yeah we've got the media centre here just below here we've tied up the stone cutters area as well so this is our new looking stone cutters corner We've got the daycare centre here, I've surrounded it with trees and a uh, wooden fence around the outside as well. And then some car parking at the front, a little bench there to separate the two. And then we've got the stone cutters lodge um, with the special sacred temple wall around it, the sacred parchment in the back and the chest, uh, chest of secret artifacts there as well. And um, I only actually got one more of these to get and uh, the prize will be... Hmm, not really sure what that, that will be guys, be interesting to see what that is tomorrow when I do the parchment tomorrow. I um, hope you've got all of the little riddles and things and done well on that yourself. And then finally guys, over here we have got the weather station on the bottom of the end there. And then we've got the Stone of Triumph which was I got today, literally got today for 22,500 tokens. And you see Homer's on a task on that at the minute and he's trying to trying to pull it um, from the, the episode where he has the Stone of Shame which is a tiny rock. And then they change it when they find out he's got the birthmark and he's the chosen one to the Stone of Triumph. And um, as you can see he's got, uh, he's got no hope of pulling that has he? No, nah. not a chance, Homer. Sorry, mate. Anyway, guys, on to the question I asked you guys last week. Or if you remember rightly, it was uh, if you weren't tuned in last week, or if you didn't, why not? Um, it was um, which is your favourite episode where the Simpsons go abroad? Thank you very much to Adam Small who said his favourite holiday is when they go to Japan. That's from the episode Thirty Minutes to Tokyo. Now I don't actually believe I've seen that episode, so um, not entirely sure what goes on in that one. So, but thank you very much, Adam. Anyway. And um, I've also got one from Reese Gray who said he doesn't know what episode it was, but when Marge and Homer run away from Bart and Lisa on a holiday and Bart and Lisa follow them. I do remember this one. This one is called Catch Him If You Can. And um, Homer and Marge decide at the airport when they're going on holiday to see their uncle, somebody, uh, a last minute to go to Miami and they go and have a fun holiday away from the kids and the kids don't really like it and start following them. 
as for me guys my favorite um foreign episode has to be the one where they go to australia um it's i, I love it it's bart makes reverse charge call um to australia and then he has to go over there and face and charge and they want to give him the big boot is their way of the big boot is their way of punishment i don't know why i said that twice but they did the big boot and um yeah, Bart takes his frog, and the frog kind of like breeds and like infects, infests um, Australia because it's not a known um, thing. But I really like that one. It was all to do with the way the toilet flushes. Classy stuff. Classy stuff. So, guys, onto the final part of the video where I give you a shout out if you're looking for a shout out. If you are looking for friends, please leave your origin username in the comment section below. This week I have only one. And it is the ballistic fish, which is T H E B A L L I S T I C F I S H. Welcome back, buddy. I know you've been a, an avid viewer of my videos before, so nice to see you back commenting on my videos. Um, annotation, put annotation on the screen if you need to see how it's spelled. If you're not clear from me spelling it out. Um, also, guys, I am still looking for friends. I've had a bit of a, a little bit of a clear out, um, so I've got spaces on my friends list. My origin username is N Scotters, N S C O T T E R S. Um, I will be having another clear out on Monday or Tuesday next week for people that haven't got any tokens or haven't taken part in the stone cutters um, period. So um, if you don't get on before then, I'll leave your invitation waiting. And the minute I've got some spare um, spaces, I will accept your invitation. But it is first come first serve, guys. So if you want to come visit me, if you want me to visit you, simply send me an invite and I will accept. So that brings us to the end of this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you've got any comments, questions, feedback, and um, remember not to answer answer the um, the question I asked you, please leave it in the comments below. Also, another question for you guys. Um, if you know, if you've got to the end of it, um, can you please let me know as well how many tokens you need to get the final um, Stonecutter update, the Stonecutter reward there? Um, not really sure what it is. I think it's like some sort of statue by the looks of it. Um, I've heard it's 38,000 tokens, but I'm not entirely sure. If it is, I'm not going to get there. No chance because um, I was a bit delayed starting this one because of the birth of Ariella. I may see whether I can, you know, donut forward, skip it or something. But um, yeah, can you please, anybody, if you can confirm what the maximum prize is, I would be very, very grateful for that. And of course, if it's your first time here or if you're not doing it before, please subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, always got videos coming on Simpsons Tapped Out. And um, we've got uh, Zombies, Zelda, uh, anything really I fancy doing. Um, so, yeah, make sure you stay tuned, guys, for some more videos real soon. So, thanks so much again for watching, guys. And until next time, I've been Nock, and happy gaming.